Donald Trump also faced other questions uh, for, um, about foreign leaders today. It involves a whistleblower complaint made against the U.S. president. It is over a promise Trump allegedly made to a foreign head of government. U.S. media are reporting on two sources who say it concerns Ukraine. And that has alarm bells ringing in the int intelligence community. Our senior Washington editor, Lindsay Duncombe joins us now live. So, Lindsay, there are lots of uh, pieces uh, to this. And forgive Canadians for being a little bit distracted by some, uh, some things that have been happening in this country. So let's just begin with how we got here. Let's start at the beginning. And that is back in August when an intelligence official was so worried about something, we don't officially know what, that that person made a complaint to the inspector general of their department. And upon review of the information in that complaint, the inspector general came to the conclusion that it was urgent and credible. And when that happens, Andrew, that means that a legal process is, the laws are, that it has to go to Congress. Well, in this city at this time, both the Inspector General and the Director of National Intelligence have decided that they don't want the content to go to Congress. So we're in this showdown between Democrats in Congress and these officials. And in the middle of all of this, there have been details that have leaked out in the media about what exactly that complaint was about and we're hearing it sort of a little bit today a little bit the next day and what we know from this reporting is that it was about a conversation that Donald Trump had with a foreign leader that this was something that happened over the phone that the president may have made a promise and that it could be dealing with Ukraine and why is that interesting Ukraine specifically it's because there there are already investigations and concerns about a phone call that Donald Trump had with the newly elected president of Ukraine, uh, concerns that the president may have been seeking Ukraine's help in his re-election uh, in terms of uh, what may have been what Joe Biden, someone who is the president's uh, potential opponent in the 2020 race, may have been wrapped up in Ukraine, so looking for Ukraine's assistance. We don't know if that's what this is about and uh, that certainly though is what a lot of people are asking questions about today. So how is Donald Trump reacting to all of this? He's calling it fake news. He has said that this is just the media making stuff up. He says that this whistleblower who he doesn't know who he is is a partisan hack. Here's more of what the president said. It's, it's a partisan whistleblower. Uh, I shouldn't even have information. Uh, I've had conversations with many leaders that are always appropriate. I think Scott can tell you that. Always appropriate. At the highest level, always appropriate. And anything I do, I fight for this country. I fight so strongly for this country. Uh, it's just another uh, political hack job. That same briefing in the Oval Office, Donald Trump said that Joe Biden should be investigated, and he defended his ability to have conversations uh, with leaders of countries. This is not going away. Uh, the Democrats said that they might fight it in court. They already have a number of court cases uh, against the White House, and it is causing more questions into the president's judgment when it comes to uh, foreign leaders, as well as um, the norms in in this country and uh, why the rules in terms of how these complaints are supposed to be processed are not being followed in this case. Lindsay, thank you. The CBC's Lindsay Duncombe live in Washington.